welcome back to my channel. Today I will be making a Christmas theme painting. So let's get into the video. So uh, I decided that even though I do have other canvases, I will be painting over this canvas of a painting I made when I was about 10. I hated this painting for many years. The only reason I kept watching canvas paintings ever. But then I decided that actually, no, I didn't care. And I was just gonna take a photo of it and move on. So that's what I did. I took a photo of the painting just before filming and then made this disgusting color because I couldn't find my burnt sienna and <laughs> painted over it. So. That was the beginning of this painting. Uh, my idea for this painting was a very Christmas winter theme painting for this week. Um, I had found like a couple of photos online I wanted to draw inspiration from and that was my main start. Uh, I did work on this over about a week and a half so the image is so I had a lot of footage for this particular painting, so the, I didn't film all of this, so the image sometimes just jumps. Um, this was kind of my main sketch, I didn't really sketch out with pencil, I did a little bit of a paint sketch, roughly. It does change a bit, but um, the position of that post box, which is the red blob there, uh, that doesn't move, that stays there. So. Well, the house does shrink a tiny bit and um, the hedgerow kind of moves. That main part does just stay there, it doesn't really change that much. But um, I started off by putting in the green hedgerow. At the back, I went with a yellow green colour. Um, even though I know by winter when it starts snowing, the hedgerows will, the hedges in general, just will be like more sticks than actual greenery but you know for a stick I went then I started to paint in the hills in the background because I felt like they would it would blend in with the sky a tiny bit more which is what I was going for at the time. I did end up changing that to a more typical of my style purple because often when I'm enjoying painting Mountains, I'll paint them in purple. I, I love this colour, it's a very pretty colour. Uh, I felt like it would work better in purple. Also, it would add a tiny bit more colour to the painting and it would separate it from the sky, which originally I didn't want it to be separate from the sky, but as I kept going with the painting, I decided that I did want it a little bit more separate from the sky. I did also paint the edges of the canvas, but that was the only time I painted the edge of the canvas, so it just stays that colour. So I'm not sure if I'm happy with that, but that's how it will stay until I decide to change it. As I started to add more layers to the painting, um, change the colours, I started to notice that while it, there were different colours, the paintings also sort of had a similar shade to them. And I didn't feel like this was the right way to go, so I did go through and I looked back at my drawing and realised that some of the structural parts, like the shape of the, the post box and how the house is where were off so I went in and fit. Due to the awkward angle that I was filming at while doing this, 
um, there have been some times where you probably will see my head pop into the shot or my arm kind of um, so because my desk I think is about a metre long and uh, this much. so to get the entirety of the canvas into the frame I did have to put my camera very high up which means you'll also see a lot of mess and I'm just throwing my desk you know it's never really that tidy to do in the first place and especially working on like this um it gets really messy though the good news is it's the last project before Christmas and I probably will take next two weeks off so like the first two weeks of the new year off just so I have like a tiny bit of time to relax and kind of get some new ideas for filming and everything so I probably will not have a video up next fortnight but um, I will keep going with this for the rest of the sick year at least. I am still pondering the decision maybe to stop uploading videos um, possibly at the end of this year. I mean like the end of by like, June or July. Like sort of August I'd say. Maybe stop uploading videos on YouTube altogether for a while. Uh, not because I don't enjoy this because I, I really do but I um, I'm starting to get a bit overwhelmed with other work I need to get finished before and um, YouTube is starting to become more of a stress so well in the holidays I enjoy doing it so much it's like such, it allows me to share um, one of my favorite creative expressions with whoever wants to watch it and I don't have to individually show it to people because I get nervous and kind of uncomfortable doing that. I do feel like it is becoming really stressful. But rant and I feel like I may be talking a little bit quiet. I need to go in with kind of snow to be kind of on the leaves and anywhere where there would hypothetically be snow in this it does not all make complete sense. Like there is snow in places that probably wouldn't hold snow. Um, and the fact that the entire place is kind of covered in snow, including the grounds, and there's no footsteps whatsoever, just because I don't really want to fit in footsteps. So it's a very quiet area, uh, and it's covered in snow, and it's quite cool. For texture wise, because obviously snow does have that kind of soft, but bumpy texture. So I wanted to get that in. Also, I don't want to have that many brush strokes in it, and I felt like it looked a bit weird when I was painting it. I just struggled a tiny bit. Favorite parts of the entire painting while painting it: this tree. Um, I remember I did do other tree paintings that I have from when I was a bit younger. I struggled to never make them look right, especially the especially the evergreen trees. But this evergreen tree, I enjoyed painting it so much. I had just seen it, I don't know why. Another thing that I usually struggle a lot with, but this time really, really enjoyed doing, was the bench. Because usually whenever I draw benches, chairs, sofas, things like that, you sit down on. I struggle a lot with perspective and kind of trying to make it look like the seat is coming out and just you, know, you can sit on it. And while the seat is quite small, it's kind of in the background, it's not the main focus, I really enjoyed doing it and I think it turned out quite well. It's a small element of a painting. A thing that I didn't turn out that well and I think I need to work on a bit is the building. One major painting of a building in the past which was my Anne of Green Gables painting which I believe is on YouTube possibly. I can't remember if I filmed it or not but um, it's definitely on Instagram if you scroll down I think and uh, basically 
work. And while it's quite messily done, it's very stylistic. The other hand, again, in that same, I'm not as happy with how it turned out. I still think it, it is. I just feel like, compared to the rest of the painting, where I knew what I was doing a lot and I have an idea of how to go about it. House, I didn't go about it as well, and it doesn't really fit with the rest of the painting. Um, so yeah, I wasn't as happy with that. Overall, I am quite happy with how this painting did turn out, and I do think it's a really big improvement if you remember the painting from the beginning, like the blue rabbit creature thing. I think I have improved quite a bit and um, I do prefer the painting now and I am a lot more proud of it so I am quite happy. I did decide to put in a little robin on top of the post box because you know Christmassy but also just wintry kind of themes and yeah I am overall very 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 pleased with this is I, I'm sure there will be a day in the future where I look back on this painting and I'm like that is absolutely hideous how did I ever like that kind of thing but you know at that point if I am that unhappy with the painting I can always fix it <laughs> when it comes to that but for now I, I think it's quite good like I think I put a lot of work into it and I did my best so I'm quite happy. Uh, the one part which I am maybe not as happy about as I think I maybe could have been is this section here where I'm painting right now, um, like the actual opening of the post box. I feel like it looks like kind of weird compared to the rest of it and it doesn't really fit in as much. Um, I don't know, it just feels a little bit off that area. So maybe in the future I might go back and, and fix it. Maybe once I've had a little bit more experience in what I'm doing here. But for the rest of this, I kind of finished the main structural parts of the painting. And I went in with different details to try and change things up a little bit. Added little windows slash doors to the house. I tried to go over and fix the opening to that post box many times. I know you can see the mess on the left of my desk because of that. But yeah. In my reference in my reference photos for uh, this painting. The back of the house was really hard to see what was going on and try to figure out but I did notice there was something there I just couldn't really see it so I kind of left it blank and I feel like it looks a little bit empty and a bit weird but I feel like I would make more of a mess trying to put something in there when I don't know what to put there than just leaving it empty. I also added some berries to the bush and some other small details. I feel like I have been kind of ranting on about random things for the most of this video. So sorry about how um planned the kind of thing is and that irritates you at all. Um, I'm not very good at working on scripts and trying to keep things concise so I will be working on that. But yeah and if you do want to support this channel or interact with this uh, please like, do write in the comments or something. This is where I feel I went wrong a lot with the post box part, the opening of that, especially when I put in the snow, it kind of looked a bit weird, a bit off. So that is one small regret I have from it. 
I did also mess up a tiny bit on the trees when I was putting snow in, but I don't feel like it is as noticeable of a mistake as some of my other mistakes I have made. This, the side of the shot is just really irritating at this point, so um, I think I'm just gonna close the video off here. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as I said, I probably will be posting next fortnight, so I will see you at some point in January uh, when I will post my next video. Uh, and uh, yeah, goodbye!